Okay, today we're going to talk about what you need to do if you do not have the right size capacitor in your service truck. So, uh, say you needed a 25 microfarad capacitor. This is a 10 microfarad capacitor. And you could also utilize a 15 UF capacitor. All right, so between the two, you can get up to 25 UF. It's important that you make sure that if you're trying to use these, which are 370 VAC, that the capacitor that you're trying to replace is 370 VAC and it's not a 440. Okay, you could use two capacitors like the like these two that were 440 to replace a 370 VAC. All right, so now that we have them in parallel, we should have 25 microfarads. You can take the reading from either capacitor, and we're going to go ahead and check it out. So you know, I pre-bled each of these capacitors out. So they are safe and we can get our proper reading. The reading is 25.74 microfarads. So you can actually utilize this to get the homeowner up and running. So you would just take your leads right off of one of the capacitors, all right, because it's connected in parallel. All right, so you can do that. Or you can, if you have one of these in the truck, um, I am not uh, anyway affiliated with Turbo, um, but they do make capacitors that will create a bunch of different uh, size capacitors. You would just jump them together. In this case, I have a 20 MFD and a 10 MFD. All right, so so you can make that into a 30 MFD. All right, so I'm all about trying to get the homeowner or the business up and running. So I may have one of these in my truck as well as quite a few capacitors. All right, so we always want to be sure that we can get them up and running. I would suggest that you pull this out later and replace it with the proper size capacitor. Okay, that's it.